All right, so here is the Spotify car thing. When it first came out, I thought it was useless. And I guess the market did too, because so it's no longer being sold, or at least it's been discontinued. But in that time, I bought an old car, a 2008 Cadillac SCS, that does not have Android Auto. So now, suddenly, I do see a use for this thing. And they dropped the price on this since they stopped selling it. It got down to $40 at one point, so I was like, all right. I spent more than 40 bucks at five guys. I might as well uh, give it a shot. So let's see what it is. It is a very thin device. There's a bit of a lump on the back right there, but I mean, it's super thin. For example, here's a Pixel 3a XL and it's uh, way thinner than that. So and then the Pixel 3a XL is a pretty small, thin light phone. We have this dial here that has like a detent. The dial does have a, a button press here, and there's a button right here. And then on top, there's one, two, three, four, five buttons. It's this little rubber tag that says Spotify, very tiny tag. On the back, it looks like a USB-C port. And then there's a, you know, applied screen protector, which I'll take off shortly. In the box cardboard, a little piece of paper, meat card thing, so it'll be a touch screen. As far as I'm aware, I believe you connect it to your phone and then you can do your car through Bluetooth or aux cord. Uh, my 2008 Cadillac does not have Bluetooth, so I'll be using aux cord. And there's a couple mounting options that comes with it. So in the box, we have three things here. This little guy, this guy has a sticky tape on it. We don't want that. No sticky tape on my dash. This, I believe, goes to the vent. All right, so this would be the CD slot mount and this you would put sticky tape on your dash. I don't want to put that on my car dash. And then this would go into the vents. I, the Cadillac vents are weird. I don't think that would work on my vents. It might, I guess like this, you could do it. So I'll try both of these. And then additionally, this is the guy that's adjustable to click in any of these. Oh yeah, see, there's like a little button there. This little button makes the guy indent. So it's, it's on there pretty good. And this is, I guess it's just a magnet. Yeah. And that's on there sturdy. It's not like, I am super strong. If I do this, it's not coming off. So that's pretty good. Oh, and then since it's a magnet, you don't have to be perfect lined up here, right? You know, you can swivel it around just fine. It looks like the smile shape goes in the CD slot. And then additionally, comes the cleaning cloth, which is nice. <laughs> like a little cord sticky thing to hold the cord in there. I'm not gonna use that. And then a dual port, that's nice. Cigarette lighter charger, essentially. So obviously I don't have a cigarette lighter here, but the cord is detachable, which is nice. All right, and I'm gonna plug in just a laptop charger, basically, the charger from my Dell, there we go. So yeah, there's no power button, it just comes on automatically. So you know, if it doesn't come on, you're not giving it enough power. All right, so there's welcome to car thing. All right, now we'll go ahead and take this off. So I think it is a touch screen. Yeah. So I'll point your phone's camera to this. All right, so now we're gonna hit connect. I'm gonna allow Spotify to find things. And you can see in here. So now it, it automatically recognizes it. That's nice. And it gives me the code and I'm gonna pair it. All right, so I mean, I'm kind of digging this thing. Seems like a pretty simple setup. I will do aux or USB cable. All right, well, I'm not in the car, so I can't hear it, but I can hear it through my phone. I will CD mount it. It tells me that. Rotate the puck. Yeah. You know, all right. Figure that out already. Before starting your drive, let's take a quick tour. All right. So this is not as good as I thought it was going to be. And have a great drive. All right. So essentially, it's just I guess your phone still has to be plugged in, or at least the the audio is coming from my phone. I thought this thing was gonna make audio. So basically, it's just a Bluetooth controller for your phone. So that makes a little more sense. I saw a random Frank P's video, and he said it was using his house, which I thought made no sense. But if it's just just using your phone, it's just a remote control for your phone, basically. All right. So let's see if I do this. I'll adjust the volume, so that's not bad. That takes you home, and this takes you... Oh, these are pre... I see. Okay, well, that's not bad then. I can set a preset to go to, like, my playlist, probably. So let's try home, and let's just set this one. I was hoping I could save it just to the playlist section, but I guess I can't do that. I guess it has to be... But, I mean, it is nice, and it probably won't give you the same problem you have with using Android Auto, where it errors out because you too many touches, which, I mean, obviously, to be safe, you want that, but... All right, so that's it. You start playing something, and then it will set whatever you're playing like a playlist and hold the button so I could choose which playlist I want to go through there and that's not too bad actually because I usually generally bounce through I mean I have a bunch of playlists but I usually bounce through a couple of them so let me move this out to the vehicle and we'll see how we get that set up from here that makes sense that's why the USB is a double charger so you can charge this at the same time I get it now I thought the audio would come out of here but it doesn't it only comes out of your phone so that makes sense now, well let me go hook it up in the car and we'll check it out I, mean, I do like the screen also I guess I should show you that this is my Samsung Galaxy Fold so it's a lot bigger right of course but so it's a small screen, but it's a good looking screen. It's a pretty clear picture on there. All right, well, let me go check it out in the car. All right, so here we are in my Cadillac. 
I got a CD slot and DVD slot because I'm pretty fancy, buddy. So basically, I go ahead and plug this cord in, and then I will go ahead and magnetize this guy. It goes curved up, essentially. I've already tried this out in here, and it works kind of better that way, I think. I mean, it's go here, but it's really not great. You know, you just stick it there like this, so it's not bad, I guess. But let me try these work. Yeah, actually, it works kind of better, I guess. Here's where it gets wonky, right? So phones nowadays, they don't have an audio jack, so it's got to be USB-C to that. So I gotta use this little U-Green adapter or something like this, right? And then you plug in that to the phone and then the aux port will go here and then I gotta, you know, power it because it burns a lot of energy just running your phone. I mean, your phone might have it, my phone doesn't. So you gotta use some kind of adapter to get the audio out of your phone because my car does not have Bluetooth. So they're just coming on. So then you know, I set up my buttons. So two is my 2019 songs. So you can use this as a volume, that just your phone volume. And then this will be the car volume, of course. So it's pretty good. I mean, to change tracks, you gotta press here, essentially, but not bad, really. All right, this is really perfect in my hand zone right here. So again, I wish the audio would just come out of this thing and I could just wire this into the auxiliary port without having to involve my phone at all. It'd be nice to just have my phone in my pocket, but I had to have my phone out and plugged in, which is kind of annoying. And then of course it only does Spotify and this button will pause and play it right there. Microphones on, phone connection, options, display and brightness, on-screen tips, air vent interference. Oh, that's the air vent for the microphone here. I don't care, I'm not gonna use voice for this thing. There's your tips, I don't care about that, all right. And then you can see your about, all right, and then you can reset it there. So again, for what it is, it's pretty good. But I mean, it's just basically a remote control for your phone. That's about all you're really doing here. The audio is still coming out of my actual phone, not here. So I have this a Toto here that I made a separate video on, and it has the audio coming out of it and it does my phone wirelessly, and, that, and it does full Android Auto. This guy, I think originally was $100, which is insane. I'd be bonkers mad if I hadn't paid that much, but I only paid 40 bucks for it. So 40 bucks is about what this is worth, I think. They're probably out of their mind trying to get that extra money for it. But for now, I would say that's not too bad. It's a cool little guy, I guess. So this is, I guess more of a back button than a home button. All right, there we are. So that's all I got, I guess. Thanks for checking me out. It gets a thumbs up for $40 or cheaper. Anything more than that, it's uh, crazy to think that you would use this thing for that kind of price. All right, well, my last uh, thing, I was driving around for a little bit and I was a little harsh on this thing. I do kind of like it. So, you know, I've had this car for about a month or two now and I've been listening to my old CDs. The novelty of that wore off pretty quickly. So it is uh, pretty nice to have my Spotify playlist back in here. So I do like that. I mean, it still was way overpriced at the original price, but at 40 bucks, it's pretty good. And so I do have a bigger thing from a Toto that's like a tablet on thing, but it, this is a lot smaller and easier to deal with. So if I don't need maps or like a long trip, I probably will use this thing a little more than I thought I would originally. But anyhow, that's it. All right, I just want to get a little closer overview of it. So I've already set this top button to my playlist. And then this one obviously is set to my 2019 playlist. So let's go home. We go to my playlist. Let's check David Morris. So David Morris is now playing. It has to be actually playing. And I'll set that to three. So now three is that. So I go back to one, it's gonna be liked songs. And three will be David Morris. This is a back button, that's what this is. And so now Flint Town is four. So now I have my playlist one through four. And then this button up here is a settings button. You go to your microphone, you turn it on or off. I did not find the microphone worked very well. I tried it, so let's just try it again. Hey Spotify, play Eminem. See, it clearly hears me, but then it doesn't play. So I don't understand why that does that. It's super annoying. So by my I don't usually voice stuff generally anyhow. I usually just do it. So I mean, you can try it. It recognizes my words, but it never actually plays. So I don't know what that's about. So I might just turn the microphone off. Phone connection is connected to my phone. You can add a new phone or remove one. All right, so let's take it off. Options, of course, display and brightness. On-screen tips, air vent interference. The air vents may be interfering because it's cold right now. I mean, it's, I have the air blowing since it's hot outside. And that's about the power and reset. We'll just let you restart it or power it on or off or do a factory reset. I just unplug it. I don't actually turn it down. So yeah, so there we are. Like I said, I drove around for a little bit last night and this is the next day and I do like it. It is kind of annoying. Like I said, I have, if you have an Android phone, you know, you generally only have USB-C. So I use this, I'm using this little U-Green adapter, which is working pretty good. So I can put power in this side or just auxiliary. Right now I'm just going power, but I mean, I'm just on auxiliary input, but most of the time I probably will need to use power. Uh, certainly if you're driving around for a long time, listening to music, you probably will need to power your device. All right. 
So there we are. It's uh, what is it pretty good? And now that I have it, I'm kind of glad I have it because of this car. Maybe I didn't have a, if I had a car with Android Auto, of course I would never use it. But this car does not have Android Auto. I will replace it at some point, but it doesn't now. So it is uh, you know for 40 bucks. Actually, it was 29.99 when I looked last night, so it's even cheaper. That price, if you have a car that doesn't have Android at all, it's pretty good. Certainly, if you have a CD slot, it fits in there pretty good. I think it's you know not bad at all. All right, that's it. Thanks for checking me out.